Everything about this image and the trench screams an industrial process with careful prior planning. If you or I start wandering through the various channels and pipes inside of a modern dam used to regulate water flow, it would be equally as mysterious until we realize we are standing in a location where humans were not supposed to be. It's an industrial location, and trying to make sense of it from the viewpoint of some chamber or temple is like trying to sit inside of an abandoned water tower and wondering where the priest kept all those candles. A big mistake I think researchers make is to try and make a culture's religion the scapegoat covering whatever they cannot explain textually or from solid archaeological evidence. While ancient Egypt certainly was a place with complex religion integrated into government and everyday life, that does not preclude a rational Egyptian engineer from designing something purely from a mechanical or industrial standpoint. Every time I read some interesting detail in a mainstream archaeology publication and see that they put in some blanket and then they did this oddly specific stone cut because it pleased their gods, I just don't buy it. We must give ancient people the exact same latitude of rationality we would give to Leonardo da Vinci. He was also an engineer in a radically religious time and country, and yet historians do not try and shade everything he designed that we don't fully understand in terms of religion made him do it. I know this is not a one-to-one -one example and a bit off track from my current topic, but we have to address it. If an Egyptian complex has obvious mechanical features that are evidence of sophisticated thinking that, let's be honest, you don't know and I don't know, and Egyptologists don't know the full meaning of, we cannot blanket just say, oh, they put this massive complex stone pipe on the east of the pyramid because east is, yeah, you know, the sun rises there. And that symbolizes life. Yeah, they wanted the tunnel to symbolize new life. That's it. Don't ask any more questions. Unless there are writings explicitly saying this, we should not just swallow a fully religious conclusion for what could also be interpreted as an industrial feature. For my part, I will fully accept that a site can have an overarching religious or funerary meaning to it, but that does not preclude individual features of the site being purely those needed to construct the site from an engineering or construction standpoint.